everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another video so you would have seen by the title today's video it's going to be an asos haul it's going to be a bit of a spring transitional asos haul um i haven't actually shopped in asos for a couple of weeks now which i know that doesn't sound like very long for a lot of people but for me that's quite a long time so i am excited to show you what i've picked up I also want to let you guys know that I do have a giveaway for you in today's video. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to all my lovely subscribers and to celebrate that I wanted to give away something that I use pretty regularly, definitely on a weekly basis. Probably every other day I will pick up my Foreo and use it to cleanse my skin, to give it a bit of a deep cleanse, a massage with various different masks. And because I love my Luna Mini 2 so much, I am teaming up with Foreo to give away this brand new Luna Mini 2. So you can win this Luna Mini 2 facial cleansing device from Foreo. And I'm also gonna chuck in a couple of masks as well. So I've got a Glow Addict mask set here and I've also got a coconut oil mask set as well. So you can win all of this this little cleansing skin bundle from Foreo. And I'm gonna tell you how to end at the end of the video so make sure you keep watching okay so I picked up some gorgeous things from ASOS and the first thing that I picked up are these beautiful earrings now I am gonna zoom in a little bit for you so you can see them a little bit better but they are really really beautiful daisy print earrings they're almost like you know when you were younger and you stuck a daisy in between two bits of like plastic this is pretty much what these earrings are like, but I just thought they were perfect for spring. They are just so, so beautiful, and yeah, I just absolutely love them. So I definitely wanted to share these ones with you guys. So moving on to the clothes that I picked up in today's ASOS haul. The first thing that I've got is this lightweight parka. Now, I love a trench for this time of year, but I also love a coat with a hood because it's gonna be spring and although we want it to be sunny and dry, it's probably not going to be, let's be honest. So this coat I picked up in a size 10, so I did size up one size. I will link everything in the description box below for you guys. And yeah, this is the gorgeous park that I've picked up. So it has these beautiful pockets. It's in a stone color, although it's kind of coming up more greeny on the camera for some reason. It is definitely a stony camely color in real life. I guess it has the smallest hint of green in it, but it is mainly a camely stone color. Um, as I say, it does have this hood. It's full sleeved. It probably goes down to just about my knees. Um, it's just perfect for this time of year. It's lightweight. It's done up with poppers as well, rather than a zip. And it's just super versatile and something easy to throw on this time of year when the weather can be a little bit unpredictable. I also picked up a gorgeous jumper, which I have actually featured in a couple Instagram reels already. And it's this beautiful jumper from the brand Villa. And I picked it up in a size small. It is organic cotton and it's a creamy off-white colored top. It's probably more of an accru color, to be honest. You can see the contrast between the white top that I'm wearing today and the jumper. And it does have this beautiful bobble print detail running all the way over the top. And then the back is quite plain and simple. Um, it does have a little bit of kind of lining detail at the bottom. The sleeves are cinched in up to the wrist, which is really, really nice because it means the sleeves kind of go out into a bit of a balloon style. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous color. It's really, really comfortable to wear. It's thick enough for this time of year, but it's not too thick that you think you're gonna overheat slightly because I want to move away from really, really thick jumpers. Um, but yeah, this one is just absolutely gorgeous and it's gonna be perfect to pair with jeans, to pair with leather leggings, maybe even a midi skirt um, for the spring. Okay, so this top is probably my favorite thing from this haul. It is this beautiful baby sky blue color top. It's from ASOS Design and I picked up in a size eight, so I've gone true to size. Again, I have featured this on my Instagram in a reel if you do follow me over there. This one is just so, so beautiful. I love the fact that it has a ruched detail. I love this V here because 
it's super flattering but it's not too deep i do still like to be quite modest um, and not have too much on show but then it does cinch you in right on the waistline and then it's flowy at the bottom it's just the most beautiful beautiful top it is also elasticated here so it makes it super comfortable really wearable and just the perfect addition to a spring wardrobe i think okay so moving back to coats i did pick up this trench so this is a light chocolate brown color trench and it is absolutely beautiful i love this i went for a size medium so i did size up um it's from the brand called only on asos and i do think this was quite affordable um as i said i will be linking everything in the description but this one is just super lightweight the material feels so soft it's such beautiful quality it's just the perfect kind of trench to chuck on over any outfit this time of year it's giving a nod to the trend with this chocolatey brown color the buttons are this beautiful tortoiseshell detail as well which i love it adds another something and then you do have this tie waist wrap detail as well so you can really cinch yourself in um yeah i just adore this coat so so much i think it is just perfect perfect for spring so this next item is a bit more casual compared to some other items in my wardrobe again it's asos design and i have sized up to a size 10 and it is this gorgeous stone oversized jacket so it's not really a coat but it's not a coat it's definitely more of a jacket and it's quite oh <laughs> it's quite baggy it's quite loose fitting it's definitely oversized so although i have sized up to a to a size 10 i kind of wish i'd stayed with a size 8 because it is still quite big so i would say stay true to size and you're still going to get that oversized fit it's almost a shirt style jacket but a much thicker material than a shirt and um, the back is very plain and simple you do have a pocket here otherwise you don't have any pockets on the side it's just a relaxed fit and yeah just something really casual for those days of running errands going to the supermarket shop something like that just a bit more casual um but loved the color and i love the button detail and yeah i just love the oversized fit as well so i have sneaked in one last bit of coziness even though I did just say I'm not going to buy any more warm jumpers. After today, I'm not going to buy any more warm jumpers. This one is a size 10. I've sized up because I wanted an oversized grey knit jumper. I love the kind of the rugby style neck. I think it's really, really flattering. I actually think v-neck jumpers and v-neck tops are a little bit underrated because they flatter me so much better than a normal crew neck. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this jumper. It is so warm warm and cozy. It is the perfect transitional piece for wearing outside the house, running errands, but not necessarily wearing a coat with it. I think it's going to be perfect and it's just so soft and cozy. I'm also still working from home, so this is going to make the perfect working from home jumper. So I was clearly thinking about outerwear for this spring haul because I wanted to update my coat wardrobe by adding some lighter weight coats and jackets rather than really clunky, chunky, warm winter coats. And um, so I quite like the change of seasons as an opportunity to update my wardrobe and add some more staples. So this coat is this gorgeous check coat. It's from the brand Parisian. Again, I've sized up to a size 10 just because I think sizing up in coats is so much more flattering and there's nothing worse than wearing a coat and you just can't fit anything underneath like a jumper or even even a lightweight top to be honest there's nothing worse so i have sized up with this one as you can see it's got gorgeous buttons running all the way down it is lined underneath with a bit of a i, I hate to say it but it's a cheaper looking material it's almost like the kind of polyester material which i'm not the world's biggest fan of but i do love the check print of this coat i think it's gorgeous so I did also pick up a new pair of shoes from ASOS and I picked up a new pair of white chunky trainers because I love wearing white chunky trainers in the spring. I think they are the comfiest things to wear. As much as I love wearing boots and sandals and all the really kind of 
girly things. I do like to pair more formal trousers with a pair of chunky trainers just to dress them down. I think it makes the look look very relaxed. These ones are from a brand called Malibu. They are size six. They are definitely true to size. Um, I love them. They are very heavy. They are quite chunky and quite heavy. Um, I just thought they were a bit of a great dupe for the more expensive, chunkier trainers that we see on the market. Um, these ones have gorgeous snake croc print detail running along them as well. They are beautiful beigey white colour and I just, I just love them. I'm going to get so much wear out of them. And yeah, I thought they were gorgeous. So here is how to enter today's Aphorio giveaway to win the Luna Mini 2 and also some gorgeous cleansing masks as well. So the first thing you're going to need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a big old thumbs up, Follow both myself and Foreo over on Instagram and leave me a comment down below because we're coming into spring. I want to know your favourite thing about spring. So I will leave details in the description box as well just in case you missed any of that. I'll be announcing the winner in next Sunday's video and I'll pop it in the description box of that video as well. So make sure you enter. I'll leave details in the description box and good luck. And that is it for today's video guys, thank you so so much for watching, if you did enjoy it please feel free to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel if you're new for new videos every single week from me. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!